Mark Busing here, and welcome to this Greenland Minute. I'm from Libertyville High School, a school of 2000 where I teach physics and coach the cross-country team. We are located near the southern end of Lake Michigan on the margin of the world's greatest source of fresh water, the Great Lakes. In April, I'll be traveling from Libertyville High School to Greenland, an autonomous country within the Kingdom of Denmark. With an area of 2.1 million square kilometers and a population of 56,000, it's the least densely populated territory in the world. The ice sheet, second largest on the planet after Antarctica, covers 81% of Greenland. If it melted, sea level would rise about 23 feet. My work is with Operation Icebridge, a six-year NASA mission to map polar ice with unprecedented accuracy. They operate out of the former U.S. air base at Kangar Lushwak. It was built during World War II. The Allies were afraid Germany would invade Greenland. The town has a population of 550 people, about the same size as the graduating class at Libertyville High School. In 2000, a 30-kilometer test track was built for European car manufacturers from Kangar Lushwak all the way to the ice sheet. You can see brief glimpses of the road as we fly over, following the Watson River. It's the only place in the world you can actually drive onto the ice sheet. This part of the ice sheet is called the Russell Glacier. We'll turn around and head back to Kangar Lushwak, where we'll follow the 190-kilometer-long Kangar Lushwak Fjord out to the ocean. A fjord is a long, narrow inlet carved by glacial activity. This fjord is the longest fjord in western Greenland, and it's between 1.5 and 8 kilometers wide. Greenland has hundreds of fjords and 52 major glaciers, including the Jakobshavn, which flows 20 meters per day. 85% of all Atlantic icebergs come from this western part of Greenland. It was down a fjord like this that the iceberg that sank the Titanic made its way out to the Atlantic. Some of the mountains on either side here are over 1,000 meters tall. For comparison, Yosemite Valley in California is only 13 kilometers long, and mountains rise about 900 meters above the valley floor. We finally reach the Atlantic in the Davis Straits between Greenland and Canada. After spending three weeks in Greenland with the scientists from NASA, I head back to good old Libertyville High School. Be sure to tune in for more Greenland Minutes.